Dr. Kateri and today I have a question for you. If I dropped an egg weighs about 0.1 pound and a 6.27 pound from the same height without any initial speed, which one hits the ground first? You know what? Let's ask some students first. I think uh, the brick will go first depending on the weight and the volume. The brick. I think uh, the egg. Uh, I think the, the brick uh, hits the ground first. For me, I think the egg will be the first. So, turned out I received several different answers, but the most of them, of course, chose the break because it's heavier and stuff. So, let's make the experiment by ourselves and make sure of that. Just pray for me because I'm gonna make myself in a trouble today with administration. So, just keep in mind that the resistance of the air is negligible right now. As you see, you know, almost hit ground at the same time. Alright, I admit, it seems obvious that the heavier should hit ground first, but what happened can be explained by Newton's second law of motion. A. Zeke Newton said that the net force is equal to the mass of the object times by its acceleration. Now let's see this small experience when I try to push up a car, it's really hard than pushing up a toy car, because the first one has a greater mass and therefore greater inertia. Now if I ask you, what I have to do if I want to accelerate them equally? Of course you're gonna say we need more force acting on the car or less force on the toy, and that's exactly what's happening in a free fall. We feel more force from the earth on the heavier objects because it got a greater mass and therefore greater energy and it needs this force to accelerate at the same rate as a lighter object. And in a free fall, the only force acting on those objects and that's not negligible is the gravity. And here we go, the acceleration due to the gravity is always g equal to 9.81 meter per second squared. This is a constant, okay? Let's go back to the formula, f equal ma. That makes the acceleration a is equal to the force acted on the object divided by its mass. And as you know, the force due to the gravity increase when the mass increase is directly proportional to its mass. Let's try with a heavier brake, okay? Let's try the same experience with a heavier brake and the same egg. As you see, we can increase or decrease the mass of objects, but finally they will get to the ground at the same time. But wait a minute, what about things like this plastic bag? Feather, paper, stuff like that. They absolutely don't fail at the same time as have your brakes, so what's going on, dude? Bro, listen, if you remember in the beginning I said that the resistance of the air is negligible. But here, the resistance of the air is not negligible anymore. Let's take this couple umbrellas, they have the same mass and from the same kind. And we're gonna drop them, but one's gonna be open it. And second one, gonna be close it. And of course the opening gets to the ground slowly. But that's true only in our atmosphere, but in the vacuum there is no air resistance. If we drop the heavy hammer with a the feather, they will get to the ground. And that's already did in the famous experience on the moon by David Scott. 